Any country song titles you'd like to share with us, Mark? Don't hide your love of country. I know you're, you're blasted at your restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe later. <laughs> right, I've got, I've got lamb on the menu today. We've got these beautiful lamb cutlets here, which we're going to pan fry so they're nice and pink. We're going to serve it with a nice salsa verde. So that is just a, like a herb uh, salsa with oil, some anchovies and capers in there to, to balance the salt. And we're going to make a fresh grilled zucchini salad with some chickpea puree. It's going to be fantastic. Now it's over to Holly. It is great to have you with us in the cafe kitchen. And Mark, this is one of my favourite bits of meat, lamb cutlets. I think any bit of meat's your favourite, isn't it? I thought yeah, it was well, chicken. Yeah, true, yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, actually, yes, it is very, very varied. My meat favourites. OK. Yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful lamb cutlets here. Like, they're really nice, small, so we can eat lots of them. Uh, they're not going to take long to cook. I'm going to show you how to do that in the second segment. OK, well, good. Well, first of all, we're going to make a herb salsa. OK, so cool. So, salsa verde. So, I've got uh, three different herbs here. A salsa verde. OK, cool. Is that Irish? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds cool. No, no, it sounded good. Salsa verde. So, OK, what is that, parsley? Yep, so yep. this is parsley. So, so we're just going to finally chop it all. So you can do it by hand, or you know, if you want, you can put it in the food processor. Mm -hmm. um, but I've chosen to do it by hand today. Nice. Genuine, authentic. Yeah, exactly. So and it's, all, it's all about just sort of chopping it down. So we've got the parsley in first. We've got some anchovies and capers as well. OK. Um, and then we're going to chop them up. So basically, it's just it's just a salsa with herbs. Nice. We've got mint there. Good. We've got some basil there. Uh, you know, take your stalks off. So you're just using the leaves. Mm, yeah. Oh, get a whiff of that. Yeah, but you get that. I mean, lamb and uh, mint, great combination. Basil as well. Oh, you know, cool. the parsley. Same fantastic. thing. Take the stalks off. Yeah. You can, I mean, you can leave it, leave a few on the basil, which is really good. There's lots of flavour in there. Okay, Definitely a bit of off the mint. Yep. So oh. sort of chopping it all down. Okay. So I'm just going to finish these herbs and then you can chop the anchovies and the capers and that's going to give you some saltiness and some acidity as well. Right, so you get the nice so fresh smelling basil <laughs> and mint and I get the stinging old anchovies. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> it's a team effort, it's all, it's all part of the recipe. Okay, nice, it's alright. You're the all right. boss, I'll just so, do what you're told. Yeah. I'll just do what I'm told. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So, if you've got, you've got a bit more time, you know, chop it down, get it a little bit uh, finer. Right, so the finer the better? Yeah, cool. yeah. Yeah, nice. so it gives you the idea as well. So and then so chop these up, mix them through there. Yep. And then we'll put some olive oil in it and season it as well. Okay, cool. What do you right. work on while I do that? Whilst you do that, I'm going to make a puree in the blender. Mm -hmm. I'm sick of chopping stuff now. Right. That's so why you don't want right. to use the blender for this, isn't it? How fine <laughs> yeah, do you need your exactly. anchovies? Uh, it's a nice and fine. So just chop everything right, nice okay, and fine. Cool. Uh, anchovies, you know, really strong. So the finer the better with the anchovies. Okay. So, because they are, they are quite salty when you uh, bite on them. Right, so I've got some chickpeas, so just out of the can. So they're still nice and soft. And we're going to make a puree with this. So, lots of lemon juice, because they're quite rich, sort of rich and sort of a little bit bland chickpeas. What's so, we need to get a lot of chickpeas at the moment. You used them last week, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No, but it's good because sometimes I've sort of written off chickpeas uh, and everything I've eaten so far um, over the course of the show that you've made, I've always enjoyed. So there you go. It's all about how you utilise your chickpeas, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? Yeah, and, and it's, you know, it's, a great, uh, it's a great medium for flavour as well, chickpeas. OK, cool. So lots of lemon juice going in there. We'll give it a really good season. And then we've got some fresh garlic as well. So if you just uh, smash those with the back of the um, mm -hmm. knife and just help it blend up. Going to have a little bit of salt and pepper in there. Good. That's it. Get Smash the garlic that in good. There. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looks exactly the same. Oh, shush. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, lots of olive oil as well. And then that's going to blend blend that down to a nice smooth uh, puree. So okay. we'll have full of flavour. Your chickpeas, nice acidity there, and the uh, garlic in there. And then that's going to be sort of contrast to the, the fresh herbs. Mm, you're nice. OK, this is all starting to smell quite nice. So that's going to go in there. Once you've, uh, yeah, a few more capers in there, you can chop okay. all that up. Yep. And then same again, lots and lots of olive oil in here. Yeah. I'll we'll pop that in. Does it help mix it up? Yeah, yeah. That's going to give us a nice looseness. So it's, it's like a, a, a yeah, herb salsa -y, saucy type thing. Yeah. OK, cool. Well, I'm excited about this. And the lamb cut... OK. <laughs> cut the heart tick, this recipe. OK. <laughs> 
Okay, um, are we going to blend while before we throw to Holly, or do you no, want to we'll, blend after? She's we'll done blend the in the break. Okay, we'll blend in the break. I need to put some more of these capers in here. Then we're going to come back and we're going to check out how to do the lamb cutlets as well as Mark said. They don't take very long. You can find everything that you need at the uh, at the cafe.co.nz. There you go, chopped, ready to go. Part two coming up straight after we check in with Holly. Um, okay, so you're just <laughs> cutting up some courgettes here. Can I just ask, how did your um, how did you, your puree turn out? Yep, so we just blended it so it's nice and smooth. So we've got a bit of texture in there, and we're going to put that on as a base on the plate. Okay, cool. We've got the courgettes, so nice sort of uh, strips just with a knife so they're not too thin. Yep. A little bit of salt, pepper, yep. and a little bit of olive oil over there. Okay, Mix cool. Mix it around, and then we've got a hot griddle pen on, on there. Oh, so you're going to mark them off. Yep, so make sure you've got a bit of oil on each yep. one and then just lay them across. We'll get some nice marks on there and then we nice. can just dress it out. And we put uh, some salt pepper on it. You yep. did that? You did that? Yeah, cool. yeah, we did that, yep. Okay, cool. Right, and now for the lamb. So last minute you want to cook the lamb. So everything else is, uh, is either done or it's getting cooked now. Now it's time for the lamb. A little bit of olive oil on again, a little bit of salt and pepper and a nice hot pan. Okay, pop a little bit of oil in there. Get it nice and hot. You can see it's smoking. Mm -hmm. And we're going to get these cutlets, and then we're just going to pop them in. So you hear that sizzle straight away? That's what we like. That's what you want. I don't want to overcrowd this pan. Okay, so I'm just going to maybe put one more in there, and I'll leave that. They won't take long to cook, so we can get a nice colour. Um, take them out, and it's all about resting. So a little, little bit of salt on the other side. So yep. you've got salt on one side and you're going to season it on the other side as well. Okay, so I missed that before, don't overcrowd the pan, because I would have shoved as many as I could fit in there. <laughs> well, no, yeah, but yeah, then your, uh, your pan temperature goes down right. and you're not going to get a sear, you're not going to get this beautiful colour. Ah. So you should be able to see, you're starting to get a bit of colour now. Nice. So okay. we're just going to do a little bit more. That makes then we're going to flip it over, get a nice colour on the other side, we'll give it a little prod. We'll take it out, away from the heat, put yep. it on a plate for about three minutes to rest. Rest. And whilst the first batch is resting, the pan's still hot, you can cook the second batch. Yeah, brilliant. It'll all, it'll all come together. Have a look at our um, courgettes. And it's starting to get a bit of colour now. Crank it up a bit, needs a bit more. Yeah, so you see you got a nice colour. So just carefully, just turn them over as well. Just uh, try not to like shake the pan and toss them. Okay, why, why wouldn't you do that? Well, they just go all over the place. Okay, so you want you know, to keep just, that even space. Yep. Yeah, e even space, and you can look at them. You know, you can really make sure you've got this beautiful colour. Nice contact with the pan. You know, and they're, they're like half done already. Yeah. Okay. Pretty happy with all of this. I just turned it up. It'll brown away. Don't worry. <laughs> It'll look good by the time you finish. <laughs> Okay, fiery. Uh, Mark, how are your lamb chops turning out? <laughs> Beautiful, so they've rested. I'm just going to build the plate up now. You've got the chickpeas under the bottom, the courgettes, the lamb, and we'll finish with the herb salsa. Get plenty Yum. in there. Still the freshness and the flavour. Oh, that looks good. There you go. And guess what? Holly can actually eat this. <laughs> nice. <gasps> Look at that. Ooh, that's good. That's for you too, James. Um, what are you doing tomorrow? Well, tomorrow I've got almond crusted fish with leek and potatoes. That sounds good.